Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links we used in this video. Today in Solvetic, we will see how to fix the error K mode, exception not handled in Windows 11. Chapter 1 Turn off fast startup in Windows 11. To start, we will click on the Start menu, there you will look for the word Control. In the results you will click on Control Panel. Then, in the various options you will click on Hardware and Sound. After this, you will click on Power Options. On the side you find a number of options to use, there you will click on Choose what the power buttons do. Now it's time to click on the change settings that are currently available to be able to make some kind of change. Now it's time to clear the turn on fast startup checkbox. For everything to be correct, you will click on save changes. Chapter 2. Use startup repair in Windows 11. Windows integrates a function to repair the system startup automatically. To activate it, you will restart your computer three times, and the repair process will start automatically. If in the result you do not find a solution, on that screen you will click on Advanced Options. After this a menu will open with some extra options, there you will click on Troubleshoot. After this you will click on Advanced Options. You will have access to the main menu, there you will click on Startup Repair. Again, the whole process of repairing the hard drive will be done automatically to detect failures, and the same system will try to correct them. Hey, remember to subscribe Solvetic channel. After this, Windows will restart and we can access the system without errors. Chapter 3 Use Terminal Boot, Repair in Windows 11. For this case we must again restart the PC three times to access the advanced options available in Windows. To start in the available menu we will click on Troubleshoot. After this you will click on Advanced Options. Finally, you will have access to the system console by clicking on Command Prompt. The next step will be to correct MBR errors, for this execute the command you see on the boot rec screen. Press the enter key to execute the command. After this we will correct the boot problems, in this case you must execute the command that Solvetic uses on the screen, you might see a permissions error. so that you can execute this command without errors you will enter the command that you see on the screen. Press the enter key to run. Now you can run the previous Botrek command again. When you press the enter key you will see that it has been executed without error. After this it will be necessary to rebuild BCDE, for this enter the command you see in the terminal. You will need to confirm this task with the letter that. To exit the terminal, execute the exit command. On the Windows menu screen you will click on continue so that Windows is restarted and we check that you have access to the system without error. Chapter 4. System Restore in Windows 11.
To achieve this system restore, we need to access the advanced options of Windows again by restarting the PC three times. The first step is to click Troubleshoot. After this, you will click on Advanced Options. Finally, we must click on the System Restore option. In the wizard that opens it will be necessary to select the restore point that we are going to use. After this we will see a small summary of the restoration process. When we click on finish we will be warned that this action cannot be interrupted. If we are sure we click on yes. Now we just have to wait for the files to be restored in Windows. When the process is finished successfully click on the restart button. Windows will be restarted and we can verify that you have normal access. Chapter 5 Disable overclocking in Windows 11. To disable overclocking in Windows, we must access the application of the graphics card used. In the application, we will go to the performance section. Then in the settings option you will define or confirm that the automatic adjustment section is in default and not in increased CPU speed. We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.